Our story starts with a phone call from a Portland area woman who had emailed KGW. Hello. She's been sick for more than two weeks. March 21st was the first day that I was sick. And she thinks people need to hear this. Because I was really, really frightened that I would wake up in the night and just not be able to breathe. It started with chills and a fever. Just a little over 100. Then came the bad cough with, you guessed it. A very tight feeling in my chest. Eventually, she developed pneumonia. After nearly a week of these symptoms and after a round of tests for other viruses, including the flu, the woman's doctor arranged for her to be tested for COVID-19. Both thought it was an obvious case. Then came the results. That came back negative. Amid a deadly pandemic, it should have been comforting. It wasn't. I was actually um, really scared when it came back negative because I thought, what on earth is wrong with me? So to be totally transparent, the woman in our story still doesn't have a definitive answer, but she says her doctor told her to quarantine herself, isolate, treat her symptoms, basically act like she has COVID-19 because despite that negative test result, her doctor believes she does. And local experts say there's a reason for that. The test is 70% sensitive. In layman's terms? If someone has the disease and has the test, 70% of the time the test will be positive, and 30% of the time it will be negative. Meaning, on average, in 30% of COVID-19 cases, the test misses the virus, and a person with COVID-19 can't truly know if they have it. Nationally, health experts are sounding the alarm on this. This headline in the New York Times reading, if you have coronavirus symptoms, assume you have the illness, even if you test negative. Same story and same advice from the Oregon Health Authority and the Multnomah County Health Department who say the test is definitely still worthwhile in cases where doctors think it's warranted. And in fact, the county gave us this list of all the labs that are processing tests conducted locally. One of them, LabCorp, a major North Carolina-based chain who tweeted yesterday they've processed half a million COVID-19 tests nationwide. They posted this video on their website showing their technicians running COVID-19 tests. And when we reached out to them about this issue, a spokesman sent us a lengthy statement, reading in part, their lab detects the virus directly within the established limits of detection for which it was validated. It goes on to say, as with any test, the accuracy relies on many factors, including if the specimen we receive was collected properly, sent promptly, and packaged correctly. It concludes by noting tests are only one factor that a doctor should consider when diagnosing a patient. So our advice to people is to avoid contact as much as possible with other people, to in fact wear a mask in public, to in fact stay home. and that that is all we can say at this point. The woman who contacted us though worries every time she sees reports that show how many tests come back negative. Her fear that people will take that number at face value. Each night I would think, how can that many people be having a negative result when I know firsthand it's so hard to get tested? And now it makes more sense to you maybe. Oh, yeah, now it makes a lot more sense to me. Maggie Vespa, KGW News.